Good snake. Good boy. Good boy. Bite, bite, bite the camera. What's up everyone, my name is Brett and sometimes I wear a beret and today I am super excited to show you the hottest new blaster of 2022 because today we are talking about... Oh, it's a... That's a Roblox blaster. No, that, that can't be it. Yep, it finally happened everyone. I finally bought myself a Nerf Roblox blaster. That's right. This is the very first one I have ever purchased. When the Roblox line was first announced, I was there to almost pull the trigger and buy all of them. Wow, what a time that was. And people were mocking me. They were like, Brett, you've played Roblox. You've played the Nerf Roblox games, the unofficial one, then the official one. You should totally get all the Roblox blasters because you're the Roblox dude. And I was like, there are other people who play these games. Don't make me your poster child. But I held fast. I didn't buy any Roblox blasters all until this point. For some darn reason, that snake blaster <laughs> compelled me to waste my hard earned money $45. Actually, no, no, it was on sale for like 42, but still over $40 for the snake blaster. What's it officially called? The Roblox Zombie Attack Viper Strike. I'm just gonna say it. You love it or you hate it. You saw the picture of it. You knew it was coming out and you said that is just weird enough that it might be cool. Or you saw it and were like, oh no, heck no. Now I've never played a uh, zombie attack. I've only ever played like foam FPS and the, the nerf one I already, nerf strike. That one, I already forgot what it's called because it's been a long time. And when I first see this, my mind goes to the Fortnite BASRL and BASRR as comparable because it looks like a very similar priming bolt and a sniper silhouette, I suppose. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's a reshell, but don't quote me on that one. It just looks very similar. And I gotta say right off the bat, I know I'm going to get into it soon, but this cardboard, this feels really thin. Let's open it up and I can show you. Here comes snake, oh snake, oh the snake. Actually the cardboard holding the blaster is also super, super thin. This feels real, real cheap. Of course, the blaster in question is more important. I'm just saying, this is like next level thin. Wow, cost cutting. And give me the good stuff. We've got our instructions. I'll make a fine addition to my collection. Instructions for anyone who wants to reference them. They also seem a little bit thin. So uh, not loving the trend that's going on there. But again, this is just telling us everything we already know. Did stick, weird. Inside the box, everything that's advertised, you got the blaster, you've got the, the snake. Oh, <laughs> Sharpie, Sharpie. Ooh, they're like rubbery, interesting. The scope is permanently affixed, magazine and darts. Let's put it all together. I will give props to Nerf and that everything in here appears to be recyclable, so that's nice. Inside this, we've got had our darts, six darts, bare minimum, that are red with uh, blue heads. I think they've done this exact color scheme before, maybe like a Spider-Man blaster. Wouldn't be too surprising, but you know, they're standard elite darts. Priming bolts for both sides. I don't think there's anything special there. What have we got here? Ooh, exclusive virtual item. Yes. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. Three, two, one. Can you see that? Can you see that? Three, two, one. Good. Comment down below if you redeemed that. You're welcome. Magazine is very red with a weird kind of matte finish on the bottom. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, that is, that's a lot thinner than what I remember. Good thing I had one on the side to quickly compare when I was gonna check some compatibility. Holy smokes. Oh, that's a bad sign. <laughs> they have cheaped out on the magazines. Holy Jesus. What is that? But you know, it's an exclusive six dart red magazine. So I'm sure you can post this on eBay for 50 bucks. And yes, I know that's more expensive than the blaster, calm down. Also, I should note this magazine does appear that it could fit one more dart on the top. That's six, you could probably fit a seventh, just FYI. 
Let's finally get the blaster together. We've got these two parts. I'm pretty sure once we put these together, you're gonna have to open it back up to remove them. Get on there. Get, get on there. Get. Oh, is that it? You're telling me that doesn't go any more flush? Oh man. Oh geez. Enough is enough. I am tired of these Roblox snakes on these Roblox planes. Everybody strap in. About to open this freaking blaster. As mentioned before, the teeth are not solid plastic. Fortunately, they do bend a little bit. They're a bit more rubbery, thank goodness. This still is plastic. This is the barrel. The eyes are also plastic. Pretty much the rest of this is all plastic. It's just that the teeth. Oh no. Oh, the bipod. Oh, the humanity. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> I saw it on the box. I shouldn't be surprised. Holy smokes. That is the saddest bipod I have ever seen. This is like off-brand bipod. That is so thin. Yikes. I don't mind the snake head. I think the snake head's kind of funny. And it like the teeth being kind of rubbery, that gives it some character. This part of the blaster, I'm okay with. Um, a lot of other parts, I am really starting to question. That is, that, that is sad. The long shot bipod is rolling in its grave. As mentioned, the scope is also permanently affixed. It works as a little carry handle too, if you want to use it as that. Yeah, it's not doing anything, obviously. The handle is, um, uh, the, the handle, the, the handle, the handle is, it's definitely a handle. It is one of the handles of all time that Nerf has made. Man, someone call Busby, what is this? The problem is that this thumb hole stock <laughs> removes like any use of it. So while I can kind of fit my hand in there, and I can tell you a lot of people who are over the age of eight years old might not like this. Of course, it's important to know the box says this is for ages eight and up. I am complaining about a blaster that is intended for younger audiences. That said, I reserve the right to do that because this is my channel and that's what I do. The magazine release is like snake fangs with the little eye sockets on the top. I thought that was really interesting because when I first looked at it, my mind instantly went to like the little monster cat plushie I have there. I love monster cat, so that logo just looked really familiar with the two little fangs and the ears poking out the top. There's no headphones coming out the side, so I guess it's slightly different. And of course you got Roblox, love that in case you forget. On the other side, there is a Roblox logo, but it's all in red. The, the Nerf logo as well is only painted on the other side, not this side. It's in white there. The snakeskin detailing is definitely there. I think it definitely adds a little bit to the blaster. I'm not sure how much and how much people would come to see that as uh, worth your money, because obviously there's quite the markup here but it, um, it's fine. On the left side of the blaster, it looks to be a little button, probably a jam release as well. Let's go ahead and install our tabs on each side. Snap into place. Once I snap them into place, they're going to be a bit more difficult to take off. A little ratchety to prime, but again, not too unexpected. Load our magazine in, like so. Prime for it, mm. and fire. And we're getting probably a uh, standard snake performance. Kind of loud. Does it have slam fire? Hold down the trigger, prime back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We've had a problem. Uh, no, there is no snaky slam fire on this blaster. I've already chambered a dart. Close it up. Why is it so loud? Yeah, that's confirmed no slam fire on snake blaster. Hit the mag release, it doesn't drop. You do have to pull it out. If you give it a little bit of force, you can definitely drop it out. But we're also talking about a six round magazine, so there's no actual weight on the magazine compared to something a little bit larger. Let's really quickly compare cross compatibility. Existing magazine from a long strike. Works just fine. This blaster is a decent length. It's actually, you know, reasonably sized not completely unwieldy. All right, just from those test firings, my index finger was riding up right here very uncomfortably. This handle's not doing great things for me. Keep that in mind. Is the stock useful? Sure, you can rest right up against and, oh, actually, you know, if you look down the scope, you can kind of align the crosshairs with the front of the snake. You know what, I don't hate that. That's kind of funny. 
it, it gives you a little bit to aim with so you can aim towards the front of the blaster. Good snake. Good boy. Good boy. Bite, bite, bite the camera. Now some quick chronograph testing for this blaster is telling me that it's performing in the low 60s, high 50s. I'll correct that if I find more evidence to the contrary later, but it's not the highest performer. It's definitely running shy of that 70 FPS par that Nerf would typically put out. And I'll say that makes sense because this is a Roblox blaster. Perhaps this long barrel is hindering that performance or it's just weaker internals. Either way, it appears that this is slightly lower powered than some of your other standard Nerf Elite stuff. Even the new Nerf Elite 2.0 blasters on the market are typically outperforming something like this. And unfortunately too, there are just so many places on this blaster where you can tell that they unapologetically cheaped out and you just have to wonder, oh my goodness, how can we justify the price when like this is the result? Like, yeah, does that stand? But can I rip it off? Do, do you want me, do you want me to rip it off right now? Oh, oh. Anyone who's like legitimately using this and is younger will rip that off in a heartbeat. All you have to do is like turn it the wrong way. Now, if I'm pulling it all the way down to the back, oh dear. No, no, no. It's got the white stress marks of doom. I don't want to completely destroy this on camera. I paid good money for it. Plus, if I destroy it, how will I ever use it in the game? Funny that it teases the old Roblox blasters on the side. The Jailbreak Armory, the Adopt Me Bees. That was like from wave one. What are we on, like wave three or four from Roblox blasters? Anyways, what do you guys think of Snakey Blaster? <laughs> Is this something that you would legitimately buy? Do you think you'd have fun with it? Or is this a hard pass? I at least like the snake head. For that reason, he's gonna do the outro. <clears throat> Thank you everyone so much for watching. Subscribe for more snake blasters. And I will see you next time inside my belly. Come here. <laughs>